Hi, welcome back to another 20 Questions with Empower. My name is Connor, and today we're interviewing one of our members of Empower, Kristen. Mm -hmm. How are you today? I'm doing well. How about Fantastic. you? I've got a few questions here, some of them very simple, some of them quite complicated. You ready? Yep. Okay, let's start easy. What does the perfect lazy day consist of? Okay, so for me, uh, it would be not leaving my bed, uh, staying in my pajamas all day, having food brought to me, so I would probably order it, and then just watching movies all day. That sounds perfect. Or games, either one. Story girl. What do you do when you can't sleep at night? Um, lie there, look at my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to be sad. I love sleep, so if I ever am awake and I shouldn't be, I'm like, oh gosh, this is depressing. I hate it here. Ancient Greece or ancient Rome? I have to say Greece because they're the OGs, but because I've read the Aeneid and I love the Aeneid so much, like, it's gotta be Greece, but Rome is awesome. So what drove you to uh, pursue a career in digital film and media? So, um, originally I was gonna be, so I, originally I was an acting major, and then I was like, I can't do anything with acting, and they're gonna make me do weird stuff all my life. <laughs> like, people are gonna be controlling me and writing me in weird scripts, so I was like, okay, well, I can still act and direct and kind of be in the storytelling world um, if I just learn a more holistic filmmaking view. Okay. So that was that. Are there any actors that you model your acting after? Anyone that inspires you? I'm very inspired by people like Joaquin Phoenix, um, I'm nowhere near that, but he just has a, he and a lot of other actors that I love just have this very commanding presence. You cannot look away from him when he's on screen because he's kind of terrifying. Um, and so some people with that kind of focus and like strike and like instinct, I feel like really come, come across like What would you say your favorite hobby is? Writing. What's your favorite color? Gray. Favorite book? Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Afon. Favorite movie? That's a harder question. Um, my favorite movie changes a lot. I can, I can give you my, the, the genre that I'm feeling most right now is horror because of the season. And the last really amazing horror thing that I saw was The Haunting of Hill House, the show on Netflix. And so I've been thinking about that a lot, but I cannot answer. Uh, favorite meal? Um, Thanksgiving. Okay. Any, just anything Thanksgiving? Anything Thanksgiving. What's your favorite band or song? I have a lot of favorite, I listen to a lot of music, so that's, that's another hard one. But one song that always keeps repeating that I've always loved is Reckoner by Radiohead. Would you rather have endless money or endless love? Oh, love. 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 True love. If you could live in another time period, what would it be? I would, I, I would really be curious to see if I could survive like hunter-gatherer times. Like full-on survival chick with throwing the spears and... Are we talking like primal almost? Oh yeah, yeah, like okay. hunting the antelope kind of. Would you rather have Beyonce or Taylor Swift stuck in your head for 24 hours? See, I don't get the hype around either of them. Beyonce, I guess. She's a queen. She slays. If you could have a chance to play any historical figure in a movie, who would you want to portray? So I'd probably want to portray my own ancestor, um, Sarah Lunt. She was a pioneer who trekked across the United States to Utah. And did that trek, she also trekked down from Utah to Mexico with all of her nine children. Her husband was gone, and she ended up uh, having to defend her children from a goring buffalo. And so she had a sling, and she used a rock and a sling and killed the buffalo in like, kind of in between her children. What I'm imagining is her like straight up David and Goliath thing that, mm -hmm. and just like being amazing and like being a defender and a mother and like, I don't know, keeping track of her brood. I've got one more for you. You're trapped in the woods and your phone is dead. You hear rustling behind you, turn around, and you see him. I love that. I think that wraps up the questions that I have for you today, Kristen. Thank you so much for joining me yeah. and answering them. It was a You're lot of welcome. fun. Yeah. And we will see you guys next time.